Today, we'll be working with a new technique called construction branching. This technique is a very simple but powerful tool that makes you fluent very quickly. Watch how it works. Let's warm up by working with the following construction. In standard English, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know what time it is. I don't know where my keys are. I don't know when they left. I don't know why he said that. Now, construction branching is when you add a word or two to the original construction, creating a new branch. For example, let's add what. I don't know what blank. For example, I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what she wants. I don't know what we're doing. Let's create a different branch by adding where instead. I don't know where they went, for example. I don't know where they went. I don't know where I left my wallet. I don't know where the post office is. I don't know where my hat is. I don't know where she works. Another fluent English word we learned today was have to, which means must. Here's a simple construction using have to. In standard English, this would be I have to leave, for example. I have to leave. I have to think. I have to call her. I have to pack. I have to rest. And again, let's add on another word to the construction to create a new branch. Let's add on go to, which in fluent English is go to. I have to go to sleep. I have to go to work. I have to go to the gym. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the store. Or we could create a different branch by adding do. I have to do my homework, for example. I have to do my homework. I have to do the dishes. I have to do some laundry. I have to do my taxes. I have to do my nails. Hit pause and think of some other ways to branch this main construction. Here are just a few possibilities. 
we could add the word call. I have to call my mom. I have to call my mom. I have to call my boss. I have to call my friend. I have to call the airline. We could add the word check. I have to check my email. I have to check my messages. I have to check my homework. I have to check with my wife. I have to check for mistakes. We could make a new branch by adding the word make. I have to make lunch. I have to make dinner. I have to make a call. I have to make some copies. I have to make a reservation. We could add buy. I have to buy groceries. I have to buy gas. I have to buy a present. I have to buy a calendar. I have to buy new tires. Construction branching is a great way to quickly increase your fluency in English, so please practice this every day. Next, let's work with the fluent English pronunciation of a hundred, that is, hundred, hundred. As always, hit pause and repeat. A hundred and eighty degrees. A hundred and eighty degrees. Five hundred and fifty dollars. Five hundred and fifty dollars. Six hundred and ninety miles away. Six hundred and ninety miles away. Two hundred and ten square meters. Two hundred and ten square meters. And finally, let's combine the two idioms we learned today as we work with more numbers. Pretend your friend just bought something and she paid too much for it. Using this construction, let's tell her, Give me a break. Then the price will go here. What a ripoff. Are you ready? Give me a break. 299 bucks? What a ripoff. Give me a break. 900 bucks? What a ripoff. Give me a break. 470 bucks? What a ripoff. Give me a break. 710 bucks? What a ripoff. Please write down this idea of construction branching and try to use it every day as you practice English.